Well, Kelly Holmes, it is the morning after <laughs> the Jaguar Academy Awards, and I have to say you're looking very bright-eyed and bushy, considering... Considering? Considering I'm what a great night it was, and what a great night it was, Kelly. It was. Yeah, it was a fantastic night last night. It's year two of the Jaguar Academy Sport Awards, and it's... It is growing, but it's getting better. You know, it's one of those um, situations where uh, Jaguar had come up with uh, Jaguar Academy Sport. wasn't really sure exactly what the concept was going to be, other than we wanted some um, elite sporting greats to kind of front uh, the academy. And then um, to actually give the rising stars bursaries to help, you know, identify stars of the future was kind of the, the concept. But then what we've done is tied that up and combined it with a <coughs> mentoring and education program that my company actually runs, which is the real icing on the cake for this academy. Uh, you've had some, su su <coughs> some success already with um, Camp Kelly, obviously. but. Yeah. You know, and you've, you've won a lot in your time, you've, uh, apart from the, the, the two goals at the Olympics, lots of other medals as well along the way. Um, but how big a deal for you personally would it be to see one of, uh, one of the kids that you're mentoring, one of the rising stars, or not even what you're mentoring, just any of the Jaguar rising stars, to go on and have a, a, a career sort of even half as good as yours? Yeah, oh, it would just be brilliant, you know. Because when you start having uh, some form of association with a youngster who shows promise and potential and then actually, you know, the achievement comes through, to see that journey happen in a young person and know that you've kind of watched it, even from afar, or just had a little intervention, is just fantastic. You know, it really is. I've been running mentoring programs for eight years now, so I really know um, the needs and the kind of uh, factors behind what makes that partnership a success. So just to see somebody do um, something great, so then they already are. You know, remember these rising stars are already world-class uh, performers at their own age group and you hope that they become world-class performers and the seniors and compete for Great Britain at an Olympic Games one day. Okay, well we're here now with uh, Dave Roberts who has won just, just the 11 Paralympic gold medals in the swimming pool so far. That equals him with Dame Tani Gray Thompson as the most successful British Paralympian of all time. And he's got one more shot at it. Dave London, how good's that going to be? It's going to be amazing. It's uh, the only reason I continued beyond Beijing was the call of London. It was just too strong to miss. And yeah, you know, it's uh, we're both on 11. And uh, as long as Tani doesn't come out of retirement, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to sort of have a go at, uh, at beating her. She's fantastic role model and athlete for all and I think you know just to be equal with her is just the highest honour possible but the dream is to go to London and win that that elusive extra gold and I think uh, all my focus and all my efforts are going to be on just that one. You're obviously at the Jaguar Academy annual awards at the Savoy, a glittering occasion, uh, who's who of British sport was there and you sir won? I, I won the Legacy Award for the work I do within within sort of within the Jaguar community, obviously the Academy of Sport was set up to fund, you know, fifty of really the cream of the crop of British young athletes and uh, the the Academy is it's an amazing thing. They they give the opportunities for these young athletes to meet and greet some of the greatest Olympians of all time and to get advice on financial planning, planning for your career, planning for injury, nutrition all the things that they need to know, they get, and it's not just those guys, mums and dads are also involved. They're shown how to create their team around them, and it's not just athlete and coach, it's actually athlete coaching. Mum, dad, sister, pet. You don't realise how big your team is until you have it broken down to you. And I, you know, I do a lot of mentoring within that, and I, you know, I try to do an awful lot of promote, promoting it, because it's something I firmly, firmly believe in. And, it was kind of nice to get that award to say that actually you know, it is recognised what I do helps and that, that's a really nice thing. Well here's the smiling cheapy chappy himself, <laughs> uh, Mr Jamie Bolsh, looking looking pretty good considering it's the morning after the night before Mr Bolsh. Yes, um, it was a very good night last night, um, the Jaguar Annual Awards, uh, the second ones, I think it went down really well at the Savoy. Um, mm. A lot bigger than the year before, hey? It, it was. Uh, a lot more sports people in there, a lot more legends, um, past and present. 
Um, you know, you had people like Di Green in that in the audience who uh, obviously is trying to go for a 2012 win. Yeah. Um, I, By the it, way, there were other legends there as well who happened not to be Welsh. I know, I know. Do you know what I mean? It was good to get a Welsh from him, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Especially if I managed to die. <laughs> but no, you know, the, the Jaguar Awards, I think they were fantastic. I think, you know, it's just over a year or so old now, you know, and um, you think what they have managed to have achieved. You know, Jeff Cousins, uh, his brainchild, I think it's just something which has just exploded, really. I mean, when you look at the car brand Jaguar and you look about the athletes which they've got involved in it, it's just phenomenal, but um, I think one of the best things to me is it's not just, oh, let's just get David Beckham in a car, let's just get Dane Kelly Holmes in a car. Yeah, great, well done, that's good. But I think what they're doing with the bursary and the mentoring and you know giving grants out to up-and-coming stars, I think, is phenomenal. And uh, I think last night was a celebration of that uh, over you know the, the current stars of people like Di Green, you know? The ever-smiling Colin Jackson <laughs> has... Uh, has joined us and uh, and you should be looking happy my friend because uh, this is year two of the Jaguar Academy yep. uh, we had the awards last night yep. you're looking uh, ridiculously well considering <laughs> um, and, and it went very well and more promising kids uh, have been discovered and nurtured it's been fantastic for us all I mean last year you know we had a quite an intimate little award ceremony it's about 150 in the long room at Lord's and we, we, we all thought this was pretty successful it was a great thing but this year uh, at the Savoy, we doubled the figures, the attendance, and it really was sensational. I, I must admit, I had a wonderful evening. And rubbing shoulders with some of the, the young recipients as well, who really have been hand-picked to be at that award ceremony. You know, we, we, we kind of look after about 50 generally, and there's only a handful that was there to really rub shoulders with the, the top guys in sport at this moment in time, and, and that and seeing their faces and you know that whole experience they were gaining i kind of wish i was young again and i, I, know, I, I know, could because, do the same thing you know? i know because your career was terrible it was it? awful i mean you know, <laughs> I, mean, you know I don't even know what i'm talking to you frankly well uh, as enthusiastic as ever colin looking as young as ever rather annoyingly and uh, and roll on hey keep 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 going and um, i tell you what um Olympics, I don't know whether you know, like Olympic Games are happening pretty soon. Really? Uh, World Championships in 2017, it's it's a good time to be involved in track and field, isn't I'm it? I'm telling you, it's the best time to be involved in, in, in the sport that I loved, uh, I must admit. Olympic Games will be sensational, there's no doubt about it. I'm looking forward to seeing some athletes do some magical performance. I'm pretty sure they won't let us down there. And then for them to return five years later, um, a new breed of athletes and hopefully uh, more, even more Bridget success on the track. We've got some good young names, obviously, that will really be outstanding in 2017. So as they say, watch this space, eh?